let's quickly get this video up with Yuri going absolutely mental when he finds out that or not reacting the best way when he finds this old video of his girlfriend Riley doing some YouTube content with another guy. So bizarre because they weren't even together at this time. Why this bothers him so much is beyond me. But obviously this guy's got a fragile, um, fragile ego, um, very insecure. And I'm almost willing to go as far as this. I'm also, I'm willing to go as far as saying that I don't think Yuri's had any experience with girls or has had, a, has had much experience with girls. Most likely Riley took his virginity or maybe Riley's his first long-term relationship, but he hasn't got a lot of experience with girls. I could, you can just tell. It's almost like, it's almost academics like how you can tell with guys, like guys know, guys know if a guy, you know, is confident or has options or whatever it was with women and acts a certain way. Uh, guys that don't, you can just smell it. You can tell from how they act. And Yuri gives off that kind of vibe of somebody has had a lot of experience with girls. Um, Unfortunately for him as well, it's kind of unlucky for him in Yuri's sense because his first proper girlfriend is Riley, who's an attractive girl. So you kind of, you don't have much experience with girls and your first girlfriend that you get is a quote-unquote baddie. It's kind of hard to handle because even regular guys who get loads of women can't really handle baddies because, you know, attractive girls come with their own problems or come with their own issues or come with their own things that you have to kind of deal with yourself as a man, right? So imagine if you've got no experience and the first woman that you hook up with is somebody that a lot of guys <laughs> would want to sleep with as well. It's a hard thing to kind of wrangle. Do you know what I mean? Um, so let me play this clip for you because I think this is absolutely hysterical how Yuri reacts to this video. And again, this video was filmed in like, what, what's the caption say? 2015. This video was, met, was uploaded on YouTube in 2015. Yuri didn't even know this girl existed then, right? No, this has nothing to do with him at all. But look how annoyed he gets at the thought of his girlfriend recording some content with a YouTuber. Absolutely insane how immature this man is. He has the emotional intelligence or range of a fucking 10-year-old. Even worse than that. It's absolutely hilarious. Please watch this and please listen to this clip because this is will blow your mind. Look at oh, just Riley. Just keep an eye on Yuri in the top right. Keep an eye on Yuri in the top right of the screen. Keep an eye on his face. Look how annoyed he is that this woman, his girlfriend on the left hand side, Riley, is sitting next to a guy in 2015. By the way, we're now in 2024. This has nothing to do with him. I think they've been together, Riley and Yuri. I'm gonna let me. I'm gonna say they've been together anywhere between two and four years. So this is way before him. Nothing to do with him. Look how, look how much he's squirming. And also, by the way, I don't want to judge anybody. I don't want to prejudge. I don't want to put out any labels. But the guy looks kind of gay. So why do you care? The guy looks kind of gay. Again, he could not because you have to imagine 2015 fashion is different. People kind of looked a bit different, you know, whatever. But he looks kind of gay anyway. So Yuri is so insecure as a man so insecure even his girlfriend standing next to sitting next to a gay guy is too much for him to deal with imagine how absolutely pathetic you have to be that you can't even let your girlfriend have a gay best friend <laughs> imagine the fragile ego imagine the fragile masculinity imagine how insecure you have to be that your girlfriend can't have a gay best friend what the fuck is wrong with you it's, it's one thing not to want your girlfriend to hang out with other boys, other men who are just like you. Cool. But a gay guy? Huh? Oh, anyway, I'm not going to stop anymore. She told me about this, bro. She never told me about this. This is news to me right she now. She never told me about this. Why should she, you dickhead? I'm Dalton. And I'm Karina. And you're watching... Look, she's leaning. So like, look, look at Yuri's face. Look at him. He's angry, bro. A little talk show. Damn, she hiding stuff from me. I, bro, she never told me about this. I'm surprised. I'm like, what the fuck? I I something like this. She's hiding she stuff from YouTube me, video. bro. She's hiding stuff from me. The first thing he goes to is being a victim. She's hiding stuff from me. Or do you think she forgot about this video that was filmed in 2015? And from what I can see on my screen here, it says that the video has 340 something views. Maybe she fucking forgot. Maybe she forgot. 
But anyway, who gives a fuck? Does she have to fucking detail to you her list of things that she did si- since what? When does she have to, how far back does she have to go? Does she have to go back to high school, elementary school, like nursery? How far back does she have to account for every piece of content she may or may have not done with a man? Or with the opposite sex? Or with a day dem? How many, how far back does she have to go? Come on, to make you secure. How, what is he? The, is he the kind of guy? Is he the kind of guy? Is he the kind of guy that's gonna ask his girlfriend how many people have you slept with, and then he's gonna ask her how many times did you sleep with this person, and then he's gonna ask her what positions did you get into, and then he's gonna ask her did he make you finish? Like, bro, man, like relax with the di- like. Why does it matter? I'm with you now. Why does it matter if this guy? pulled my hair, this guy choked me, this guy threw me out of a window, this guy had me hanging on the back of a bike, what does it fucking matter, I'm with you now, that's why I never understood guys who were like, oh, I would never date a porn star, I'd never date a prostitute, it's like, bruh, why does it even matter, okay, you can have your criteria of the kind of women that you like, but trying to base your relationship preference or whim- or preference on women based on how many quote-unquote bodies they have is insane, because guess what? We all lie or we forget. We all lie or we forget anyway. So if she tells you she's got five, but then she's got f- six instead, does that make it better or worse? So what does it fucking matter? You're with the person now. It doesn't matter. It really does not matter. I swear to God. Yes, there can be an argument to be said around, hey, can you really turn a, a whore into a housewife? Maybe there's a philosophical, sociological argument behind that. Maybe those tendencies and habits that you've had in that life when you were on the fucking streaks and whatever, and you was a city girl, can that be translated into being a wife? I don't know. Me personally, I think so. There is a bit of merit in that. I think sometimes if a woman or if a person has been out there in the streets, living their life, doing what they want to do, there probably is easier for them to transition into being a t- quote-unquote trad wife. I think so, oddly enough, because you've actually gone through your city, your phase. It's like guys it's like guys and girls who do like drugs and drink early on in life. I sometimes think as destructive and as bad as that can be for your, you know, developing brain, I think actually having the option to drink, smoke, do all these type of drugs when you're young and having parents that let you kind of do those type of things can kind of get out of your system. Now, it's a, it's a tricky one because you can end up being a drug addict or end up being some one that kind of like leaves it in your mid-20s or early 30s and stuff and then suddenly now you're kind of moved on and you've got a family but I think it's quite important but again case by case and again it doesn't fucking matter right it's the past it's the fucking past it doesn't matter when what you're doing in the present so him getting annoyed that his girlfriend didn't tell him when they started dating about a video that she recorded in 2015 that has 340 views that she's sitting next to a guy that might be gay is insane why do you care? Even if he wasn't gay, even if he had his tongue down her fucking throat, it's 2015. Grow some fucking balls, bro. Why are you so fucking jealous of this? Why are you so possessive? Like, raw, Ted, bro. This is what controlling abusive behavior looks like. She has to tell you what she did in 2015. I don't even remember where I was in 2015. I don't know why I wore. I don't know why I looked like. No idea. No idea. You, you want her to remember some content she made with some guy? Shut up. She never told me this. Well, I'm finna crash out. And we're gonna talk about it. Wake her ass up. That's crazy. She never told me this. I'm gonna crash out. I'm gonna wake her ass up. Look at this guy. He's actually calling on the phone. Look at this Karen. Look at this guy. He looks like that guy. What's that meme? You know that meme, right? You know that meme? What's that meme? He looks like this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, right? Uh, he looks like he looks like both of these memes, right? Let me get it on my phone so I can show you. Let me show you this meme, right? Let me show you, let me show you this meme. He looks like this guy. In that picture, doesn't he look like this guy? Doesn't he look like that guy? Isn't that Yuri? Isn't that Yuri right there? He looks like that guy, and he looks like this guy. <laughs> this this woman, sorry. He looks like that guy. And this woman here, right? Doesn't he look like that? Look. Doesn't Yuri also look like this this woman too? That's Yuri right now on the phone. That's Yuri. That is Yuri calling his girlfriend. Um, um, were you with some man in 2015? Were you with some man in 2015? Yeah, a man. In 2015. 
You were sitting next to a man in 2015. Were you, were you sitting next to a man who's also sitting next to another girl in 2015? Where were you in 2015? Shut up! It was wild. Yeah, bro. She never told me this. <laughs> she never told me. Oh. Yeah, how are you not, how are you not going to tell me you, you did, you did. Oh, so convenient. <laughs> look, I love how you're trying such a bitch. Oh, you know what I hate? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna say this with my full chest. I fucking hate bitch made boys. There's nothing that annoys me more than bitch made female tendency boys. Because I'm a big believer in men being men and women being women. Don't give me no bitch shit if you're a man. If you're a man and you give me bitch shit, I'ma slap you in the face. I hate it. I hate it. It's annoying. Whinging, complaining, gaslighting, bickering, being petty. I fucking hate it. Stinks. That's why I stopped listening to Joe Budden podcast because I hate that shit. He's got those kind of tendencies, those kind of bitchy, gaslighty things. You know, the, you know, kind of, you know, kind of person I hate. Listen to this. I hate the kind of guy that enjoys arguing with a woman. Enjoys kind of like bringing her down, making her feel little, making her feel dumb, getting into her head. That's bitch made shit. That's what women should do to women, right? Or the gay should do to the gay. Like, leave it for them. Men should just not be like, you should be logical, right? You should be rational. You should be fucking even killed. That's what you should be. That's your role. Let them do that stuff because they do that stuff the best. When we watch um, Housewives, right? Or when we watch fucking Bad Girls Club, why do you watch that shit? Because it's full of gays and women fucking bickering and then they do it amazingly they're like the olympic level of fucking gaslighting and arguing and being petty and you know whatever but men shouldn't do that i want i don't see a bunch of dudes on the fucking yeah but when we were in a bar right and i said i want another drink why do you go to the toilet why didn't you buy me another because i've got you around shut up man bitch shit complaining about this shit man but I want to hear some girls complain about it, for sure. I'm going to sit down there and watch the real Housewives of Pontiac do that shit. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to watch Bad Boys Club and watch the gay guys on there do that shit. Yeah, for sure. But I don't want no self-respecting person that calls themselves straight to sit there and be like, um, why didn't you tell me about some video that you filmed in 2015? <laughs> Riley! Come on, she was holding me! Fuck, you know. I, 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 you're on speaker. You're on speaker now, by the way. But that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Imagine that. Imagine calling your girlfriend midstream to complain about a video she made in 2015, and then not telling her as she gets on the phone that she's on fucking live stream. Great. What a great considerate boyfriend. Oh, by the way, you're on live stream. As if like he's got like a. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna call you. Up. Oh, by the way, what's your manager's number? What's the manager's head office? By the way, um, you're being recorded. By the way, I'm live on Instagram right now. By the way, we're live. By the way, we're live on Instagram. Say hi. Say hi. We're live on Instagram. We're live on Instagram. Say hi. Bitch. That you never told me this. I literally forgot about that. I don't know how they found that. I do I totally forgot about that. Oh, look at him wave. Oh, I hate when he waves his hand as well. Wave his fucking hand, you fucking donut. He's 30 years old. He's 30 years old, bro. And you know what's even more in, in, infuriating about this? This kid is Russian. Not he was born in America with Russian parents. He was born in fucking Russia. He's Russian, brother. You think Russians are fucking badasses. Stoic. Non, you know, emotionally fucking even killed. Not easily shaken, right? You'd imagine. Obviously, when they get home, they might fucking hit their girlfriend with fucking elbows and shit. But they're fucking, you know, strong guys. Strong. And let the women be women. They don't get involved in no bitch shit. If there's a problem, we throw hands. We light each other up with the fucking lighter fluid. We go to fucking concert halls and we spray up the fucking building and shit. You know what I mean? They're serious guys. Or when they catch the fucking um, the, the terrorists, they fucking beat them up. Leave them bloody and blue, missing ears and shit. Looking like Elephant Man. That's what Russian guys are about. Standing on business. He's Russian, allegedly. Look how bitch made he is, bro. Look how bitch made he is, bro. Come on, man. This is what LA does to you. This is what LA does. This is what LA does to you when you're involved in the content world. When you go to LA and you're involved in the content world, this is what it does to you. It bitches you up.
You could watch it. I don't. Care. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, like, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Just I. I know how. I know how you would react if you like if the chat donated something like this. You'd be like, "Why wouldn't you tell me this?" Blah blah. Whatever. I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear. Like I would not well, hear the end of this. Well, hypo- so hypothetical arguments. Okay. Address the issue. <laughs> and that's and, that, and, that, and that's the thing. You know what? You know what? Let me be. Let me be somewhat charitable. Big up Fyodor. Appreciate Fyodor. Yuri is a Russian agent made to turn us Yankees into betas. 100%, 100%, 100%. And I don't even like to throw out the term like beta and alpha male. I don't like to throw that out because I think it's fucking nonsense. Especially nowadays, the alpha male kind of tag has been like bastardized and cheapened by all these fucking red peel, um, you know, wannabe Lafario fucking guys who think they're cool and hot stuff because they make money online and they degrade women on, you know, get, do these panel shows where they sit around degrading women and shit and like making them feel dumb by like using big words. That's not alpha male stuff. That isn't alpha male shit at all. So I don't even want to get into conversation about beta or alpha male at all. But if you want to describe somebody that does fit into that category of being a beta male, this is exactly what I kind of talk, I think about. This type of person. Condescending, obnoxious, petty, vindictive, manipulative, argumentative, just a real cunt of a guy. To, and the thing about it as well that I don't like about people like this, right? Let me cut him some slack. If you have a problem with your girl hanging out with other men, perfectly fine as a preference as like i would prefer it if my girl isn't texting with like dudes or like hanging out with dudes on her own i just i just wouldn't be comfortable with that in the same way and a girl wouldn't be comfortable with you hanging out or talking to other women that aren't her cool but be clear about that be clear with your partner that's what you should be doing as a man communication you should be asking your girlfriend hey where do you want to go for dinner I don't know. I'm not sure what I want. Then you should be clear and say, okay, here are some options. As a man, that's why you lead. Here's some options. Like, oh, I don't know what to pick. Here's some options. Give some suggestions. And then you kind of get to it, but you're, you're the one. You're not kind of being like, oh, why can't you pick? You're so dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what bitches do. You come with a solution. You try and work it out. You try and reason with your girlfriend. You try and meet her where she's at. You try and understand her concerns, but you're always leading, 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 leading. Cool. Amazing. In this situation, if you have an issue with how you hang around other guys, just be clear. And even in this situation, just say, hey, oh man, that's fucking annoyed, man. What the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this guy? How come you, why didn't you tell me about this, this video? This kind of makes me feel whatever. Just be honest with your fucking emotions and shit. None of this kind of like, kind of trip, like, he's almost trying to trip her up to like, why don't you tell me? As if it's like, as if she did it vindictively. As if she did it like purposefully. Oh, you didn't tell me about this thing. As if she's hiding... Like a, like as if she's hiding that she had sex with someone on a holiday. I was like, shut up. I'm surprised you didn't tell me this. What do you mean, thanks? I'm, I'm, surprised. I'm surprised you never told me this. This is crazy. So I'm happy in 2015. Thank you. Okay, thanks for embarrassing me. That's awesome. exactly. It's embarrassing, Riley. It's embarrassing for her, not me. Oh my god. Look at the smile. The little fucking. And the thing about him as well, he'd never do that to a man. He'd never talk like this to a guy. That's the thing that's really bitch made about people. Like this. Guys like this, it's, it's, like, it's not the same. And Yuri's not this person, but just leave him me out. That's why most of us in the world, we fucking despise and hate people that abuse women. Especially people that hit women. Because we know more than likely, nine times out of ten, there are those, you know, Aaron, Haran- Aaron Hernandez that exists, right? But for the most part, most men who hit women would never have the same energy for a, a, a dude. Ever. Ever in a million years. So the fact that this guy's acting the way that he's doing now to this girl, knowing that he can easily manipulate her and abuse her this way, da, 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 is the is the clearest example you need of how much of a bitch he is. Don't get me wrong, the guy is way cuter than him. Maybe that's gonna be another reason why. <laughs> yeah, no Diddy, right? No Diddy, but this guy is clearly, clearly way more uh, gifted in the face than than Yuri is. Maybe that's where kind of the, a little bit of the insecurity comes from, right? He's staring dead onto the camera. Symmetry's there. Eyebrows on fleek. 
hair all gelled up in one way, nice trim beard, right? He looks well put together. So maybe that's part of the issue in there. You're like, raw. It's like finding out your ex kind of dating some guy in the military or something. You're like, you almost feel a little bit emasculated. He <laughs> some military guy. You're like, oh shit. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. It's like, it gets so that extreme that it's just hilarious. Basically, this video is just like our comeback video since we haven't made a video in like five million years. And they made videos before. How you see this? And you know what's weird about this video? It sounds like to me this channel was like a channel set up by this guy or maybe the free. You remember back in the day, there was a lot of like, we don't have it anymore now because people now do like podcasts and stuff. But before on YouTube, there was this trend of like people like this, sitting on couches, almost like doing a story time. And they do it together. That was like a, a YouTube kind of trend content wise. Oh my God, do you remember the time we went to Tulum? Oh yeah, that was so stupid. Oh, do you remember that good time we fell in the pool? Oh yeah. And you kind of contribute to it. That was kind of the style of it. And sometimes we'd be a group of, you know, mixed people, two boys, two girls, whatever. This is what it feels like. It's not, it doesn't even feel like a video where he's getting on camera and he's asking them, oh, what's your favorite position? All these type of sexual things. It's not even that kind of video. It's just a couple of friends sitting on the couch talking about shit and having some good times and LOLs and ha ha he's. Why would you get so fucking insecure over this? I'm just finding out about this. This is crazy. And like, what do you guys want to see? What? Yeah, I don't know. Like, right. we have no ideas. <laughs> We're failures. That. I don't care. I feel a type of way right now. How are you not going to tell me that, bro? What the fuck? That's weird. He's so dude. annoyed. Look, right, look how annoyed he is. He's so what? annoyed. Look how annoyed he is. Oh, she's back home. She's back home. She's back. She's back. You're Riley's back. Now it's about to get really hot. Riley's back. Let's see how he reacts now. <laughs> on stream, you could come in here. I'm going to go talk to you on stream. I'll just end. And of course, he's going he's gonna to leave the camera on. Stream here. I don't, I don't want to end the stream because this bullshit, bro. I don't care, bro. If she wants to, like, hide stuff or, like, not tell me about stuff, that's up to her. I don't care. Hide, I don't the stream. hide stuff? What's she hiding? Bullshit. I, I don't care. So he feels like anything he doesn't know about his girlfriend from, like, 10 years ago plus is her hiding it because she didn't mention it. Yuri looks like Smeagol if he won a $500 gift card to PacSun. Uh, Yuri's a fucking cunt. That's what he is. He's a fucking cunt. I'm going to continue to be on stream. And have a good night. I'm not gonna end this shit. I'm the angry text is coming. I should be sending the angry text. What the fuck? What do you mean angry text is coming? That should be should be coming for me. Why should you be angry? Why? Does she have to tell you everything? Does she have to rem like recite every fucking experience, every interaction with another man? Like before, like, what are you talking about? Like this, honestly, I, I I don't know. I don't know how this this guy's brain thinks. Like if anything, you, like at least try and pretend like you're not bothered. Pretend, like, acting this bothered is actually a bad thing. <laughs> you would imagine, especially in public. <laughs> like, I just pretend you're not bothered and then maybe rage in private. But, like, you just look so bitch-made. I have to come in and explain myself, which is really funny. Oh, annoying. no. Why won't you tell me about that? I, first of all, I totally forgot. And she comes in her nighty as well. She's, like, he's probably more annoyed about that, right? Yuri's probably more annoyed that she sat down wearing her nighty, right? A nice loose touch of pajama pants. He's probably more annoyed that she's showing her cleavage <laughs> than by her talking because he just hates her showing any part of her body <laughs> on the camera, right? He kind of wants... If Yuri could put Riley in a burqa, he definitely would. If Yuri had the ability to put her in a burqa without actually, you know, converting, he definitely would. About that, you can That's look convenient. You, can look you get mad, you've gotten mad at me for telling me for like things popping up and you're like oh how how would you how would you not Mary, tell me this before I blah, blah, really blah. truly honestly to God forgot about that because it was so long ago we never made it a serious thing we filmed like two things we started ten talks together and we like talked about being I on a podcast and, I, and you're like I've never done, I've podcast. never done anything like this before that wasn't so a it's podcast. like people are saying like oh Yuri why are you making a big deal I don't, what's a bit, what's a big deal is it feels like I've been lied to. That, he feels like he's been lied to because she didn't remember a piece of content that she recorded in 2015. Nah, this is fucking insane. Just because it includes a guy, by the way. If that guy wasn't there, she he wouldn't have minded. But because that guy was there sitting in between his girlfriend and the other girl, suddenly that's an issue now. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Like, feels Oh, like. really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, you, oh, by the way, do you know what, you, you know what, you know what I think is going on here and why she's a bit gagged? You know what I think is going on here? Why, what's the subtext? There is a 
narrative on the no jumper fucking um streams no no jumper reddit going on that allegedly the reason why he has this kind of weird almost like grip and control on riley his girlfriend's life and shit and he's a bit manipulative and controlling is because she admitted later on in the relationship that she might have cheated or that she did cheat something like that i think that's what happened and i think because of that you know he, he obviously stayed with her and i think he kind of holds her over her head as a way to kind of control her that's what I've heard. Again, not sure if it's true. Who gives a fuck if it isn't? But that might be some reason why they have this weird, tense relationship at times on camera all the time, where it's like she can't really say what she wants to say because he's going to give her that look. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you fuck somebody else, you fucking bitch, you fucking horror, right? And, you know, he kind of always kind of looks at her like a little bit, you know, con with a little bit of contempt, a little bit. There's that thing going on there. But obviously, he doesn't want to let go of her because he's like, you know, I'm not going to get anybody else if I break up with that type of thing. Maybe there's that kind of thinking going in there. But I think that's what might be the subtext that's kind of playing on here. Maybe. I wasn't lying to you. I genuinely forgot about it because it was never a serious thing. I don't even know who those people are. You that's my friend me. Karina. Cool. And right. that's my friend Dalton, my gay friend Dalton. You could clearly <laughs> he, yeah, see yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad I'm learning this through someone in the chat four years later into our relationship. Oh my God. He's still bothered. He's still... So the, you know what's even weird about this? We got it completely wrong. He's not bothered that the guy is a guy, even though he's gay. He's just bothered that he doesn't know every single part of his girlfriend's history. And he's only learning about that video now. That's, why he's, that's actually even worse. It would be it would be somewhat understandable if he was more bothered about the guy. Cool, even though he's gay, you have your little fragile ego thing going on there. But he's more bothered about just the, that she didn't remember to tell him about that piece of content. Can you imagine how controlling you have to be? Can you imagine how much of a manipulative piece of shit you have to be to be bothered that someone didn't tell you a precise detail about their life, however many years ago before you got together? What a piece of shit. I don't even know how they fucking found that. I don't even know that that was out there. So you were relying on the fact that I would not find that out. How am I lying? No, I'm saying you were relying on the fact that I would not Why find that out. Why is it a out. big deal? It's I not a lie. I love how he's twisting. So if you don't remember something, it's a lie. <laughs> Your brain is fucking weird. I don't remember. I didn't remember. The I didn't remember not to not to tell you or to tell you what to tell you. That doesn't mean mean it's a lie. It just means I didn't remember because it's not that significant. Oh, I just didn't remember. What the fuck? Who rem could do you even remember what you fucking did this time last year on this specific date? No, yourself. So how much more somebody else? Like, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but you're, Stupid video. But you're like, oh, I can't believe you found that. I, you no, would, you should, you I, should have never when, seen that. When did I ever say that? <laughs> when did I say that at uh, all? Exactly. Exactly. I never said that. Good girl, said, Riley. Good girl. Like, See, he tried to, he tried to do that, that classic limited tactic where you kind of put words in somebody's mouth. And like, you know, try and use that way. But she's clever enough to kind of clock it. Hey, I didn't actually say those words that you said. You're saying that thing. It's an embarrassing video. I'm literally in high school. Like, that's awkward and embarrassing. Had I known about it, I would have been like, oh, this is the video. Well, had I known about it, what would you have done? Would you have broken up with her if you'd known about it? Of course you wouldn't. Shut up, man. Riley I forgot. About it. I don't even know that it's on the internet, Yuri. And you're just like not believing me. And it's really I sad. Do, I do believe you, I guess. But it's like... I guess. <laughs> He's such a bitch. He's, he knows he's being a bitch, but he can't... You know what's funny about this? He knows he's being a bitch, but he can't help it. It's just in him. It's not on him. You know? As they say, it's in him. It's not on him. He can't help it. He knows he looks like a fucking idiot. He knows he looks embarrassing. He knows this is petty and unnecessary and not important, but he just can't help not be annoyed. It's just at his core. He just cannot help not being a fucking bitch. He can't help it. Like you can, like just don't remember like, oh yeah, we did this thing before. I not thinking it's not it's not like, it's not it wasn't like, a serious i was never I on know, podcast okay. i was and I, to be fair as well i think he's also being a little bit annoyed at her mock she's got that face that girls do with like what like that mocking face right <laughs> they're like confused <laughs> face is probably annoying him a lot as well you can imagine it's probably tearing her but he probably wants to sh sh you know shove his fist straight through her straight through her fucking face you can just tell isn't it i get YouTube it youtube like that i made a video before on youtube Bruh. Exactly. I'm just going to stream, guys. That's so stupid. Everyone, have a good night. Peace. No. Okay, then there's that video. And then there's one more. There's one more to really put the icing on the cake here. There's one more video here to put the icing on the cake before I end this lovely, 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 lovely fucking pod. Because I think this end, 
might really <laughs> might tickle a lot of your flipping feathers because the end was absolutely beautiful so they get on stream together he obviously has a bit of a crash out moment but the end the end when he finds out people are clowning him on stream the next day is absolutely amusing because it's been it's turning it's going went a bit viral um i think uh logan paul's friend what's his name mike left the comment and called him a bum i think or something else underneath the comment so it's gone quite viral online so now he knows he's the butt of the joke online which is funny because you know on my particular side of the internet i've been commenting a lot on his relationship with riley and how toxic it is and how much of a bitch he is but it's just a little niche thing now he's kind of been captured by the global global audience right so I used to pray for days like this. I started to go, I used to pray for days like this where Yuri would get laughed at for being a bitch and for treating his girlfriend badly on stream. It's just fucking hilarious. Watch this clip. Well, Poetic Flacco is reacting to you on YouTube. You are the center of attention on his stream. Let's rate go, 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 everyone, man, the oranges. Yuri equals a messy bee who loves drama. He's not here to make friends. Insert generic reality TV statement. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look how annoyed he is. Monk, bro. Look how annoyed he is, because Flacco's <laughs> online streaming and reacting to it. Look how annoyed he is, look how annoyed he is. He's raging. What's Flacco saying about him? Oh, this is nice, isn't it? It's a bit of an inception going on here, right? A reaction, a reaction, a reaction. But let's see what Poetic Flacco has to say about this on the left here, as you can see here, right? This fat lump of shit. Look at, let's, what he, let's see what he has to say. <laughs> he's muted come on you unmute yourself bro don't be scared unmute yourself why is he muted himself for yo yeah, my yeah, bad my yeah. bad my bad my bad uh hold on one second yo guys my bad one second dude what did he do <sighs> intermission the intermission look the intermission come on flacco where are you bro there he's back now there he's back there we go he's back now he's back he's back he's back come on yuri come on yuri give us it let's hear it cry 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 let's hear him cry look he's really annoyed he's really really annoyed <laughs> Contemplating his thoughts, looking at the stream chat, people dunking on him, playing some somber, conscious rap in the background, staring into the camera, not saying a single word, long thoughts racing through his head. Should he kick his girlfriend down the stairs, slap her in the face with a frying pan, uh... scream at her again, <laughs> demean her, <laughs> label her a whore for recording content with a man, <laughs> right? <laughs> He's thinking there's so many things to do here. He's trying, he's probably Googling domestic abuse fucking sentences, right? <laughs> he's probably <laughs> looking at old court cases to see what punishment he would get. Uh, <clears throat> Flacco's done it before. Look, it's not the first time. He's annoyed, isn't it? He's really annoyed. <laughs> he's literally in the depressed. Imagine, imagine if he's in the. Imagine how he must have reacted when he found out she cheated on him. But that must be a, a, a really good thing about if you're a manipulator, you use every opportunity to manipulate more. So maybe he was really annoyed and emotionally kind of distraught, but his manipulation tendencies took over. He was like, you know what? It's a good chance to kind of get real control on her, and he kind of stamped his authority there. Maybe that's what happened. Let's see what the chat's saying. He's still annoyed. Look, look, he's still annoyed. He's still annoyed. He can't help it. Flocky bringing you views, bro. Take a mental health day, my guy, on his stream chat. When people watching you go viral, just part of the game. Look, he's not, he can't handle it. He can't handle the comments. He can't handle the comments. Look at him. He can't handle it. <laughs> he's breaking. He's crumbling. Kyrie Irving with The Rock dropped a bag of $20. Bro, I really don't give a fuck. I just want to get caught up. Can I please get a 60 seconds version of the drama that has been going on the last two days? Nope. Kyrie Irving with The Rock. <clears throat> I appreciate you so much for the $20 dono. Guys, I think... He's going I on break. Get off stream. <laughs> He's too angry. Look. Um, 
pray hands in the chat. I think that's my best decision. Pray right hands now. in the I'm chat. Irving with the Rock. I appreciate you so much. Pray bro. hands in the um, chat. I'm Look. super sorry, bro, but <laughs> I think that's the best decision right now. He can't handle it. I'll see you guys back live tomorrow. He can't handle it. It's just this is not good right now. I don't know, bro. Oh God Almighty! I just have too much anxiety. I bro. knew I the hands stream, go up. The dude. hands go up. I, I have too much anxiety. The, honestly, the word anxiety, the term mental health, have been overused nowadays. Everyone's got fucking anxiety undiagnosed. That there's you know depression undiagnosed, suffering from mental health issues unspecified. Okay, cool. Anxiety because you found out your girlfriend recorded content with a dude in fucking what, like 2015? Come on, that's not anxiety, bro. That's be <laughs> that's called insecurity. That's called having a fragile ego. That's what it's actually called, not anxiety. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace. <clears throat> oh, there we go. And he ended it. That was Yuri's face at the end. That was Yuri's face at the end. What do you call it? Depressed. No, depressed looking, sullen, somber. At the end, because he found out his girlfriend had not told him about some content or not remembered to tell him about some content she recorded in 2015. Not even not told him because that's lending into his fucking opinion that everything that he doesn't know is a fucking lie. Um, but yeah, incredible. Incredible content. Incredible to see. Again, a lesson out there to all men. <sighs> don't be a bitch. Simple as that. Just don't be a bitch. It's not really that difficult. And if and if you are a bitch, at least try and hide it. You know, at least try and pretend you're not one. <laughs> you know, don't be so blatant with your bitch tendencies. And maybe life will be a lot better for you. But again, what do I know? What do I know?